Things not going very, very well in year one for Dennis Allen and the New Orleans Saints. The Saints are three and seven on the season. ESPN puts out their power rankings for the SEC, uh, for the SEC for the uh, for the NFL every Tuesday, and the Saints back three spots to number twenty-four after the loss up there to Pittsburgh. By now, you know the Saints are not very good. That's not really the point of the discussion here. But they they do a hot seat for every organization. Could be the GM, could be the center, could be the kicker, could be the quarterback, uh, could be the coach. Uh, and the Saints' hot seat all year long has been Jameis Winston. And Cat Terrell uh, says right now the temperature of that seat is hot. Jameis Winston was injured in week one. Team sat him in favor of Andy Dalton after Winston's several failed attempts to play through it. But the team's record is in free fall for two straight weeks because of offensive struggles and it doesn't seem out of the question that Winston could play again this season. For now, Winston's in limbo, both for 2022 and his future in New Orleans beyond this season. I'm not going to ask you to place any wagers on this. Just <laughs> give me a prediction for the future of Jameis Winston and the New Orleans Saints, whether that's this week or next season or the season after that. Um, I honestly think they're going to ride with Dalton uh, for right now. I, I don't think it's uh, a situation where I think they're going to put you know, Jameis back out there. And I, I think obviously it helps them going into the offseason, whether they want to make that decision to, to bring him back again or if they kind of want to move on from him. Obviously, it's just not enough body of work to, you know, if you're negotiating for Jameis to, you know, kind of pound the table and say, look what I just accomplished, look what I just did. And um, it's obviously, like I always say, the worst spot for organization. You, you don't want to be in that position. You want to have a quarterback you can point to build an offense around and kind of, you know, feel good about, you know, what you can accomplish. And I think obviously for the Saints fans and everyone in that organization right now to be at this point in the season with only three wins and seven losses, I, I don't think anyone could have predicted that. And I, I think obviously not having, you know, that Drew Brees, we've seen tons and tons of organizations, you know, have that franchise quarterback where you got for a decade plus and, you know, you know what you're going to get Sunday after Sunday and trying to replace that void overnight is just – very, very difficult to do, and you see the Saints kind of going through that right now at a high clip. So I don't know how they fix it this offseason. Obviously, they don't have a first-round pick. The, the cap is actually just terrible right now. So honestly, I, I probably think they roll with Jameis for another year because, I mean, where you got to go, I guess you could go with Jimmy G or a name like that, um, but it's not going to be kind of what you have with Drew Brees. And, and for the Saints, I, I think that's what you're going to have to have to kind of get back you know, to what you were doing early, early in these 2000s. This is um, my opinion on this is is based in this. What are the odds that next season Andy Dalton is the starting quarterback of the Saints and throws for forty seven hundred yards and twenty eight touchdowns? I think almost zero. Almost zero. Yeah. What are the odds Jameis is the starting quarterback of the Saints next year? and throws for those numbers. Like 15%, 17%. It's not good, but it's possible. And if you if you sat Dennis Allen down and said, "Hey man, we're not going to fire you after one year. We're also not going to the playoffs this year because even if you rattle off eight in a row here to go 11 and 7, <laughs> you know, that's not going to happen." So Put the guy out there that gives the organization a chance moving forward. I understood giving your team a chance early in the season when Winston was hurt and he turned the ball over a couple times and Dalton came in and was taking care of it a little bit better outside of the two awful throws against Arizona. Mm -hmm. I got that. Okay, well, that's, that's over now because we're losing every week. So in the interest of the franchise and not necessarily this team, which is cooked, Put the guy out there that might do it. Yeah, That's my thought. They're never going to do that. They're never going to operate like that. It's just not the way <laughs> yeah. people function. No. But it's what I would do. Yeah, it's the thing that drives every human being on this planet. I hear we're up to like $8 billion now, but it's the unknown. And I don't think any organization wants that unknown going to the season. They want to feel really, really great about their chances and kind of build around that guy. And anytime you have a quarterback where you just don't know what you're going to get week in and week out, it just makes everyone uncomfortable. And especially – we have a quarterback that turnover is just the biggest issue. And we know, you know, turning the ball over is the fastest way you can lose a football game. And so I think for, for Jameis, maybe he gets another shot this year. I, I don't know, especially with all the injuries he's coming off of. And really, like I said before, with Dalton running the show, it's just not been 
kind of what you wanted. Like, especially if you're looking at it with the guys half full, like this guy's made Pro Bowls before. He's thrown for a bunch of touchdowns, thrown for a bunch of yards. He knows what he's throwing back there. But it just hasn't been, you know, kind of that glass half full type of season for Andy. So I, I think for Jameis, he's kind of in the same boat. I don't know how much favor uh, he has with that organization right now because I think if he did, kind of like you thought, there's no way they're going away from Jameis this year. They went away from the first chance they got, yep. and so it's just a it's just a bad spot uh, I think for him right now as a quarterback. And then obviously looking at the starter, it's obviously something that you're not going to build your franchise around going forward. So, what do you do? Uh, it's really a, a great question for, for that Saints front office because I don't really know like what they like what their plans are. I think for me, maybe you look at a name like. Jimmy G, I think Mariota is on a one-year deal, but it's just all these names. It's like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to move the needle for Saints fans. I mean, I, the, the point, I guess, to, to put a bow on it is if you play 500 ball the rest of the way, which is twice as good as you're playing right now, <laughs> you're three and seven. 500 ball is significantly better than what you're playing. If you play 500 ball the rest of the way, you finish the season seven and 11. Yeah. The season is done. So in the interest of the organization, that, that's where I would start to think. And, and in the interest of the organization, try to play Jameis Winston. Thanks so much for watching Hun Hill on YouTube. Now do us a favor. Hit the red subscribe button below and throw us a like. We'll see you next time.